Hello my dear ladies, today I'm going to do a seed cycling recipe together with you. So seed cycling is eating specific seeds during the main phases of your menstrual cycle, follicular and luteal, and it simply promotes a healthy balance of hormones and can also help with many symptoms that we women have. So for example it helps with irregular or missing periods, PMS, and also post-birth control syndrome, so after quitting the pill. But it can be used at any stage of a woman's life, including post-menopause. So we will do flex and pumpkin balls, aka estrogen balancing balls. So you can eat these balls in the follicular phase of your cycle, day 1 to 14, or from new moon till full moon, if you have no period or on the pill. And the ingredients that we will use, you can see them here. So these are flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, toasted coconut flakes, chia seeds. We will also use melted coconut oil and we will use cashew butter or almond butter, salt, vanilla extract and honey. You can pause this to see all the ingredients. So we start by toasting approximately one fourth cup and a little bit more for garnish of coconut flakes. But please note that I have used way too much here by mistake. Then we use three four cups of pumpkin seeds together with one fourth cup of flax seeds and put it in a blender. I'm using a smoothie blender here but you can use any other kind of blender. Then we blend those two ingredients and when they are ready we put everything in a big bowl because now we will add the other dry ingredients. One tablespoon of chia seeds and also one fourth cup of toasted coconut flakes. And as I said, we will leave the rest for the garnish for later. Now I also add a little bit of sea salt. It should be approximately one half teaspoon and I'm using very nice sea salt with rose petals here. Then we mix everything together and you can actually use the blender for that but I don't have a big one. That's why I'm just using the spoon and mix everything together. In a small bowl I'm melting two tablespoons of coconut oil and add one fourth cup plus two tablespoons of almond butter or cashew butter if you like. Here in Germany we are not really having these measurements of cups and tablespoons so as you see I'm simply using a normal spoon and I'm just estimating the amount by cup by using normal coffee cups but you can of course use the right measurements. And then I will mix everything together until it is nice and liquid and then I can add two more ingredients and this will be vanilla extract, one half teaspoon because it adds a really nice flavor and for the sweetness you can add two tablespoons of honey but of course it also depends on how sweet you like the balls to be but two tablespoons or two big teaspoons here are okay for me. And then we just mix everything again. We will blend everything together until it's well blended and then add the liquid to the dry ingredients into the big bowl. And what comes now is the fun part. So first of all we will mix everything together until we have a paste that we can use to form the balls from. 
I am using some gloves because it is best to make the balls with your hands. You really have to roll them in your hands. And excuse me for the color of those gloves. And I'm also preparing like a, a box with some non-sticky paper where I can put the balls because they have to go into the fridge after we make them. So here I will start using my hands. So I first finish blending it again with my hands and then I will start making the balls from this. So normally this amount should be enough for 8 to 14 balls depending on how big you make them. So it will be one ball per serving if you make 8 and two balls if you make 14. I prefer making 8 or because I like the balls to be bigger and then I can use one each day together with my morning tea or coffee. So after you make the ball, you can simply roll them in the pan with the toasted coconut flakes for garnish. Then they will look a little bit nicer and it also tastes good. And I will make one ball of the other and roll each of them in the coconut flakes and they look like this. When you're ready, you will put all the balls into a box and let them sit overnight in the fridge. In the morning you can then enjoy your first ball together with your breakfast. For the second part of your cycle or day 15 till 28, there's another recipe that I will show you in my next video. And these will be sunflower sesame seed balls. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and bye bye!